What up, what up, what up, Leo John Nation? It's your boy, Mac the Giants fan, coming back at y'all with the week 14 edition of the True Blue Preview. New York Giants headed out west to take on the Los Angeles Chargers. Just gonna get right into it, man. I'm not gonna sit here. I'm tired of beating the dead horse on these preview videos every week, man. About this offense, man. But look, no Daniel Jones. Looking like, I don't know, from the news we got this week, this kid is, I would imagine, is absolutely done for this year. And unfortunately, with some of the other news we've heard, he might just be flat out done, period. This injury is apparently way more significant than a lot of us seem to know. And unfortunately for Daniel Jones, it's some rumors and grumblings that this could be a career-threatening thing for him. So let's hope, wish wish him the best in that regard, man. And on another note, man, at the quarterback position, we all thought we were going to pretty much get a debut of Jake Fromm. But, of course, this coaching staff has decided, since Mike Glennon has cleared the co concussion protocol, to throw him back out there. What are you waiting for? Get a move on. Get going. Even coming off the performance from a week ago in which he couldn't hit Anybody. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No matter what the situation was. I mean, didn't have a lot of good blocking and good pass protection, but he had he had some and he still wasn't hitting the receivers on those plays either, man. So we'll see. We're gonna roll that dice with Mike Glennon again while Jake Fromm will be backing him up. But if he plays like he does like he did a week ago, I would I would like to imagine we're gonna see a Jake Fromm appearance. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And like you know, I always talk about, like I said, we got to run this football. We got to establish the run and get Saquon Barkley going, get Booker going. I can say it, but this team got to flat out show me they can go out there and execute, man. And they have not been proven to be able to do any of that whatsoever. The execution is the biggest problem with this offense. It starts out front with that old line. The execution has been just terrible. They can't block to save their lives, to be quite frank. Earlier, somebody was talking about, earlier we were talking to a friend, they were talking about this old giant old line. They were like, refer to it as mediocre. <laughs> and my response to him was straight up, man, I wish this line was at least mediocre. That's what the problem is. The line is it's not even mediocre. We're below that. So I, it, it's... It's it's just, you know, it is what it is at this point. And this year, we, I just want to see what we got in some of these younger players and evaluate this talent because right now the guys we're going with are not getting the job done. And then just, uh, once again, injuries obviously a factor for the New York football giants. Once again, no Kadarius Tony. St not not certain about the status of Shepard. He may return. Who knows at this point? At this point, who even truly cares? This man has missed so much time this year. At this point, he him coming back, I don't see what the impact is really going to be, but we'll, we'll find out. I mean, he's a good young player, man. I like him, but the guy just can't stay healthy to save his life, man. And Kenny Galladay is also questionable. And who knows how he's truly feeling and what kind of effort we'll get from him on Sunday. Still yet to get him in the end zone. And to be quite frank, I'm not sure, sir, sure if this is going to be the week it happens. But we can, we can hope for the best, man. I, I, I hate to be sounding like a Debbie Downer on this, man, but just the reality, is, the reality is with this football team, man. I love them, man, but offensively they can't get out of their own way. And they're completely allergic to the end zone at this point. I'm convinced of it. There, there's something about this offense that they are completely allergic to the goal line because they cannot seem to cross it ever, 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 ever. ever. Just not make it look functional. I just, it just, I don't know. Even Because even the one touchdown we scored against the Eagles a couple weeks ago was just like, I mean, that ball did everything but hit the ground <laughs> in the, on that play. So uh, we caught a break on that one, man. But we just, I don't know. It's just, I've, not, I've never seen a team like they just scared to go to score points. 
at least touchdowns anyway. And then as for the defensive side of football, man, I'm going to keep this very short and sweet this week, man. Just got to find a way to get to Herbert, man. You know, that word I like to, that word I like to use, pass rush, man. You just got to find it, man. It has to – it's the one. It's like the one big Achilles here with this defense, man. Is a consistent pass rush just does not exist. Got to figure out a way to do that, man, and force those quick decisions by Justin Herbert, man. I'm not sure about Keenan Allen's status. I remember he was in the COVID protocol. I'm not sure if he, like I said, actually had uh, COVID or if he just had a, a contact uh, scare and he has to, you know, pass a few tests. But as of right now, he's listed in the COVID protocol, and we'll see if he'll if he'll be available to the Chargers come Sunday. It's looking like he won't be. So that's a break for this New York Giant defense because he is their very absolute best wide receiver. So, and Mike Williams apparently will be out for this one too, as he's been put on the IR, I believe. So, uh, yeah, we will have Jared, uh, excuse me, Justin Herbert without his two best uh, weapons offensively. Uh, well, it's two best receivers, that is. But we still have to deal with some of their other weapons. Also, Eckler and they got Jared Cook, tight end, who's a solid veteran tight end, who I'm sure will step up in the absence of Keenan Allen and uh, Mike Williams. But uh, also, defense, you just got to put this team on your back, man. I know you are. I, I'm saying it like as if you haven't already been doing that. But this week is going to be big, man. You got to. Put this team on your back, absolutely carry them because clearly at this point you now know what you're getting from the offense, and that's just not a whole lot, man. Just not a whole lot. No expectations whatsoever. And find a way to keep your spirits up, keep everything going, man, positive. Don't quit on your team. Don't quit on this team, even though I know you probably have getting yourself in the spots now where it's like you feel like, why should you go out there and put forth the effort, man? When, when you feel like the offense is just going to get the ball back and do nothing with it because that's what they, that's exactly what they do. You guys go out there and play rock solid great like, like you did a week ago against the Dolphins on this side of the ball, and the offensive side of the ball just keeps, you know, dropping the ball, for lack of a better uh, terminology, man. So some other things I'll be looking for in this game, man, is just – See these how these coaches, man. This coaching staff, it's like a oh man. They're just but right now they look like clowns, man. They look like they're just and they look very incompetent, and they just and they and they just. It's a bad look for the New York Giant organization right now, man. Yeah, these coaches look very incompetent. They look like they have no clue what they're doing most of the time. Joe Judge's clock management, the way he's used to timeouts, is just laughable most of the time. This has to get better, man. We got to clean this up, man. So, uh, with all of that being said, I'm I'm thinking that uh, we don't really have much of a chance in this one, even with the Chargers issues as well. I think they'll be able to respond a lot better. They're at home after all. They'll be just to be more prepared for this game because I just feel like that's been my biggest issue, man. We've been going into games unprepared and just flat out not ready. So I think the Chargers are going to go and take take us out in this one. And I got the Chargers winning this one, 33 to 17. I know you probably wonder where I'm getting 17 points from because the New York 17 points is a lot for the New York Giant offense. But I'm thinking maybe the defense can maybe punch one in this one this week, possibly. Because at this point, it's going to take defense scoring points for us to have any chance in football games. So, uh, Chargers 33, Giants 17, man. Unless, unless this team that I love can prove me wrong, man, I'm not not so convinced this week. I, I, I'm getting, like, Los Angeles Ram vibes in this game, like like the same type of vibes I got that week, man. I'm kind of getting similar ones this week, so. Maybe this team can go out there and prove me wrong. I hope they do. As always, I hope I, I would love to see them prove me wrong, but I'm just not convinced they will. Offense, challenge yourself to I'll challenge y'all to find the end zone this week. Just find the end zone. 
couple of times. See how it feels. Try it. You might like it. But don't forget to tune in directly after the game, man. Live after the game. Right here on my channel, man. For the true blue aftermath. Live post-game reaction. Following every single New York football giant game this season. So check that out live on YouTube after the game. And also on Wednesday night. 8.30 p.m., the real deal, NFC East Roundup, where I breaks down all of the NFC East action for this week and the upcoming NFC East action for the, for the following week. So definitely check that out live every Wednesday night. Hey, once in a while, I might even sneak a co-host in there. We'll never know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, check me out. And it's your boy, Mac the Giants fan, man. I'd like to thank you all for listening. If you was feeling this, please take time to subscribe and smack them likes. Feel free to drop a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to ring that bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. It's your boy, Mac the Giants fan. You can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Mac the Giants fan. That's M-A-C-D-A Giants fan.